We'll start here. Rob, congratulations. Thank just, you. If you could take us through the bullpen decisions, if you, you know, just kind of a step by step from the seventh through the ninth. Yeah. So, um, you know, when we had the lead, and where we were in at, in the parts of their lineup, I felt like that was the time to go to the Alvarados and the Kimbrels, and um, and then we'll figure it out at the end. So it was a little unorthodox, but. Uh, but we got it done, and, and uh, Strami did an unbelievable job. And then just who was up in the bullpen, I know, right at the end? Hoffman. Hoffman was yeah. up, so was, he was next, in other words. Probably, okay. yeah. All right, thank you. We'll go here in the front corner. <clears throat> Rob, um, Nick said that game two's loss was a punch in the face, and we thrive when we're punched in the face. Is that what we saw the last two nights, especially from him? I think so. Uh, I, Nick's, Nick had an unbelievable series. Uh, I'm, I'm re really proud of him. You know, he's, he's had a great year. Um, he's had some struggles at times, but he sure has come up big lately. And, and uh, you know, back-to-back -back nights, they, they score the first run, and, and he ends up hitting a home run the next half inning to, to answer, and, and that's huge. Your lineup is, uh, well, you spent a lot of money on it, and three of the guys you spent the most money on, Harper, uh, Turner, and Nick, really propelled you guys yep. through this, uh, through this uh, stretch. Can you talk about what those three guys did as far as like sort of like leadership by example? And also, what's your pitching stuff? Did you give up eight runs to the best offense since 1975? Yeah. Um, well, let's start with Trey and, and Harp and Nick. I mean, I, I I can't tell you how big they are on our club right now, and you know I don't I don't think the moment gets to them at all. And in fact, the moment I think helps Harp a little bit. Um, but Trey's been unbelievable. That home run he hit today was huge. Nick's two home runs were huge. Harp's two home runs home runs yesterday were huge. Uh, those guys just they step up. Um, and our pitching staff. I, I can't say enough good about them and, and our pitching coaches, Caleb and, and uh, Cap and Lundy, how prepared they are and, and how well they, they work with our pitchers. It, it's just phenomenal what we did. We'll go to the back corner on the right here. Rob, again, congratulations. Thank you. Um, getting this series done as fast as you guys did, talk about how it sets you guys up now in terms of your rotation and everything else uh, for the NLCS. I'm sorry, I didn't really get the in question. In terms of having this series done as as a, when you guys have it done, how it sets you guys up in terms of your rotation and everything else you have planned for the National League Championship Series. Yeah, it really helps to get it done early because you know Wheeler doesn't pitch Game Five, and, and so he can go Game One, and and we just fall in line. So Wheeler, Nola, Ranger. I'm I'm assuming that's the way we'll go. Um, I'm not sure who's going to go Game Four, but um, we'll figure that one out. But um, yeah, it's anytime you can wrap up a series early, it's it's beneficial. Left side on the aisle. Rob, Turner and Cassianos both had really tough starts uh, to their Phillies careers after coming in with big ex expectations, and the two of them carried you tonight and have been huge down the stretch. What does that say about their resiliency, and you know, what does it take to really turn the corner the way those two guys have? Yeah, those two guys are tough guys, and but I think you see a lot. Not maybe not a lot. I don't know the numbers, but at times when when guys sign big contracts, they they expect to do a lot. They want to um, they do want to do a lot for their teammates, for the fan base, for the city, and so they put a little extra pressure on them. And, and it takes a while just to kind of relax and settle in and and be themselves. And and uh, both those guys uh, have done that now. So um, and I'm I'm. Happy about that. Second row, Chelsea. Hi, just wanted to see what you thought when you saw Bryce take that hit at first base, and, and do you guys have any concerns about you know the future and, and what that might leave him with? Yeah, I don't think so. I, you know, he, he went downstairs with with our training staff, and and they came up and said he's he's fine. Um, we'll see how he feels tomorrow, but I I don't think there's um, any concern about structural damage or anything like that. It might be a little bit of just a scare, you know? So 
Um, and Olson, I think uh, Matt just kind of bumped him as he was coming through, N not intentionally, obviously. So, um, you know, we'll just check him out tomorrow. But I, I don't think there's any problem. Harp's a tough guy. And uh, it'd take a lot to keep him out of the, the next series. Fourth row on the aisle. Hey, Rob. Um, taking nothing away from your pitching, uh, but – they did a great job, but how much do you think the layoff for the Braves may have also impacted uh, how well they were able to do? Yeah, it's interesting because the um, the team that the only team that had a layoff and is still in it, I think, is Houston. So, yeah, I don't know. You know, I've I've never been in that situation, but um, there must be something to it, and there must be something to. You know the preparation that you have to do. I, I think it's got to be tough because I think the Braves did. From what I hear, they had they had inter squad games and they brought in people into the stands. I think they probably did everything they they could possibly do to um, to keep guys sharp. Um, so it's it's a tough situation. So I, you know, um, I I hope I'm in that situation again. Cause I'd like to win the division, but um, you know, I haven't been there yet. Fifth row on the left. Hi, Rob. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, question I had is, was the plan for a Ranger to always go five innings tonight, or did he show you anything um, that led you to pull him, or was that just part of the plan? All no, time? there was really no plan for Ranger. We we're just going to go, you know, and just watch what was happening and, and see where we we're at in the, in the lineup. And once we got to the third time through at the start at the top of the lineup, then we, you know, and he pitched great, and he had tons of pitches left, but... We just decided to go to Sir Anthony and, and go from there. So, um, you know, Sir Anthony pitched great. You know, he gave up base hit to to Riley, and, and so we went to Alvarado right away because we had, I think we had a two-run lead at the time. We didn't want to put anything in, in jeopardy. So, um, you know, I, I thought Ranger was fantastic. I really did. Second but, the, but, there was no, but there was no real set plan. Like, he was only going to see – yeah, 18 hitters or 15 hitters or whatever like that. Second row on the left. And Rob, just, you know, we talked a little bit about pregame about, you know, the running a higher payroll and bringing players in free agency. I and mean, would it be fair to say that you are happy that the Phillies made the decision to sign Bryce Harper, Trey Turner, Nick Castellanos on the night like this? Yeah, it's not my money. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very happy that we signed them. Thank you. Thanks to John Melton. We'll take two more questions, first here in the front. Um, maybe the lowest paid player on their team maybe saved the game, uh, Johan Rojas. And you guys added Craig Kimbrell, who got out of it, got into it, got out of it. Um, what was it like for you with the bases loaded and that ball heading toward the uh, that corner that David Montgomery put in there for in, to, to facilitate inside the park yeah. home runs? And can you talk about, you know, Rojas being a, a rookie and, you know, making maybe the play of the game. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if that ball was hit hard enough to get up off the wall, but I felt like if if it if it doesn't get up on the wall, Rojas is going to catch it, and that's that's what he does. Um, this kid is, is so poised. Um, he's so good of an athlete, electric in the outfield. Um, I felt like, you know, he was going to catch it. So um, he's been a huge addition to our ball club. He really has. Even even if he he doesn't do anything at the plate, um, and he's had decent at bats. But if he does nothing at the plate, just his defense helps the club. And our last question in the back. Rob, you've had this team go through so many different gyrations over the last couple of years, and so many situations, and they seem to catch fire at the right time. Is it the makeup? Is it the personality? Is it is it the talent in this team, if you had to take one or all of the above about this team and the ability to do what they do the last couple of years? Yeah, I think it's a combination of talent and makeup. we got a really talented group, um, but they are, they are tough, and they have short memories. They have short memories for um, negative things, and they have long memories for positive things. And they just come out and they fight every day. And I, I love being around them. They have a lot of fun. But when, when it's game time, they're focused and they compete.
Thanks, Rob, and congratulations Thanks. to your team.